What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to TTB Ravens Media, bringing you Ravens content every single day. If you want to see the daily Ravens content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and turn the notification bell on to get notified every single time I upload a brand new video, especially over the next 10 days as I am going through the 10 greatest Ravens of all time video series. Now, these are not just players, coaches, management, Anybody associated with the Ravens is eligible to be making the list. And what I want from you is basically comment your thoughts and opinions on whether or not this player deserves this spot or if they should have been higher or and as well as who you think should be the next player. So obviously this is player number seven. Who should be player number six? All of these videos will be in a playlist so you can just go right through them. So if you're seeing this right when it comes out, you'll know who 10 through seven is. Tell me who you think six is. Tell me who you think the ranking should be. And they'll be coming out each and every day. I won't be able to change my videos. I'm pre-recording all of them. I'm going to be on vacation. But let's get into this. At number seven of the 10 greatest Baltimore Ravens of all time, we have Marshall Yonda. If you're a Ravens fan and you don't know who Marshall Yonda is, I'm questioning if you're a Ravens fan. Because Yonda played for the Ravens for 13 years, and he retired after 2019. In that long career, he never put on another uniform. He was a Raven for life. And, and for me, I feel like that makes a difference. I feel like that does help your legacy with the Ravens. Now, I'm not saying just because you play for another team, you can't be on the top 10 greatest Ravens. But I think it helps. I think it does help if you only played for one team. You know, you look at the legacies of great players that play for one team. It's a lot nicer than when you look at guys like Manning and now now Brady's moved. But with Yonda, he's all he always stayed. And, and major respect to that. That's difficult. The Ravens went through a lot of kind of rough patches, especially, you know, the quarterback position and things like that. Yonda always stayed true. Yonda always stayed a leader. And that's what we love about Yonda. Yonda was an eight-time Pro Bowler. He was a two-time All-Pro. He made the 2010s All-Decade team. And... He was a Super Bowl champion, kind of obviously. He played for the Ravens, you know, when they won the Super Bowl. But as an offensive lineman, it's very difficult to show how great Yonda really was. My opinion, he should absolutely, he will be a Hall of Famer. I just think it, it will happen. But um, if you are a Ravens fan and you noticed Yonda wasn't playing, whether he was injured or even after he retired, you noticed like it was like it was night and day. The the line just wasn't as cohesive. The the coverage, the pass blocking, the run blocking just wasn't at that level. You know, whenever he was injured, it was it was really rough and it was very difficult. You know, Yonda was so good that he was able to lead an offensive line to lead Justin Forsett to be a Pro Bowler. No shade intended toward Justin Forsett. But Justin Forsett is not a Pro Bowl level running back. But with Yonda leading an offensive line, he was a Pro Bowler. He was a 1,000 yard rusher. Like that's what Yonda did. He was able to lead that offensive line and get players to be better than what they could be for another team. And Yonda in that 2014 season where Forsett was a Pro Bowler, Yonda was a first team All Pro. So it's not like Yonda was like, oh, this wasn't a Yonda. Season. No, this was Yonda's. This was arguably Yonda's best season. This in 2015 were his best seasons, in my opinion. But it, a great way for me to kind of show how good he was is through PFF, um, just because I feel like, you know, you, you can't look at statistics for blocking and things like that. So his PFF ratings from 2011 to 2019, every year he had at least an 80 rating. He had two ratings. There are two seasons consecutive, Larry, where he was over 90, which is an unbelievable season. And if you don't understand how crazy having, you know, that many consecutive 80 plus ratings is, I think many people will be shocked by this information. But Ronnie Stanley, he's pretty good, right? One of the highest paid left tackles in the NFL. He's a dominant player. Guess how many 80 plus rating seasons Ronnie Stanley has? He has one, one season graded above 80 in his career. And he's a beast. But that shows how good Marshall Yonda was and how consistent he was at being that good. Like, he retired and he was still dominant. Like, I mean, Yonda could probably still play. And he'd probably be better than anybody we have um, at the guard position. Zeitler or um, Big Sexy Ben Cleveland. Like, that's how good Yonda is. And obviously, you can't forget 
um, the taser story, but you know, if you don't know the taser story, just look up Marshall Yonda taser should come up a uh, great story about him doing that. Like Yonda's a Raven. Yonda plays like a Raven. He's nasty. He's a leader in the trenches. And that's why the Ravens were able to dominate for so long in the run game. And he is the seventh greatest Raven of all time. But like all the other videos, let me know what you think about Yonda being number seven. Should he be higher? Should he be lower? Who should be number six if Yonda's number seven? Let me know all those types of things in the comment section down below. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Subscribe for Daily Ravens content. Subscribe for these videos in particular. And I will see all of you again tomorrow with player number six.